Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to the channel. Um, today we'll be talking about this guy. For everybody watching, either it be from the future, you're actually watching our first episode. We are a channel who likes to look at 90s, early 2000s toys. As someone who grew up in the 90s, early 2000s, we have a lot of pride in our childhood and we love our nostalgia. So I thought it'd be a great idea to have a show that reviews video games, toys, and all these things of our childhood and see if they're actually worth the hype that we remember them to be. So today we'll be going over this guy. If you grew up in the era that I talked about, you may remember him. Uh, this is Inspector Gadget. This is a combination of a bunch of McDonald's Happy Meal toys that were put together to make this. But before we get into that, I wanna talk about a brief history of where the toy came from and how it came to be. Inspector Gadget was an animated cartoon debuted in 1983. It was about a cyborg detective, Inspector Gadget, and the adventures he would go on with his niece Penny and his dog Brain, with the end game to capture the evil Dr. Claw, his arch enemy. It was your standard cartoon hero villain, but with some added silliness due to the clumsiness and the character of Inspector Gadget. I'm not gonna go crazy into it, but that's the gist of the show. Fast forward to 1999, like most great hits, it was adapted into a film, in this case, a live action film, and starred Matthew Broderick. Yes, Ferris Bueller himself. Now in typical McDonald's fashion, when there is a highly anticipated child's film to be released, of course comes the Happy Meal toys. And that's where we got this guy. Now obviously you didn't get this whole guy in the, the Happy Meal itself, but rather you got it in different pieces. In this case, you got it in a total of seven different pieces. Now there were eight Happy Meal toys, including a watch. I don't have the watch here, but that is not really a part of the Inspector Gadget guy himself. So with all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and go over this guy and see what makes him special, I guess. So let's go ahead and separate him. We got his, uh, I guess what, his chest piece. And then what happened was that you would break him up into limbs. You have his right left arm, right left leg, and then you have his, I guess, back piece with his head. Well, each of the parts did different things, um, which is really what made it like super cool and special. So let's go ahead and take this dude apart. I wanna go over the pieces, and then we'll go ahead and we'll rate them. We'll go ahead and see what was, which was the coolest one, which is probably the lamest one, and go from there. So I remember when I was a kid, I really, really wanted this. It was kind of crazy. Um, I was only able to get the limbs, the legs and the arms. And for some reason, I always ended up with like two or three hats. Sometimes I go to garage sales to see if they have the rest of the pieces. And then at a certain point, I just kind of gave up. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the arms for a second. So this is our right arm. Is this right or left? This is left, I'm sorry. The Spectre Gadget left arm. Um, so he has his extendo arm, right? His go-go gadget arm. This was pretty cool. Now keep in mind, you have a Happy Meal and you get one of these limbs in it. So you kind of have to go through them. And uh, if you got something cool, I mean, it being a toy by itself, that's what we're kind of gauging. So if I got this by itself, it's, it's pretty nice. It has, um, it extends of course. And then you have this button right here that it, it uh, it allows you to grab stuff, so see how uh, it's decently strong. I mean, I think this is pretty cool. It's all right. It's not one of the best, but it is there. Now you had its uh, right arm, and this one's probably the coolest one. I need to see if it actually still works. So if you can see, it's a you know like a hydro blast gun or whatever it is. What you would actually do is that you would fill it up with water, and it would be its own little water gun right so i actually want to see if this still works so if we have some water so his right arm was supposed to be a squirt gun now oh it worked <laughs> i filled it up with water i was trying to get it to work and i think the nozzle was uh clogged up but it did work and it went decently far i think that's all we're getting from it though i'm gonna take that as a win Anyway, as long as you got to see it in action, 
that was pretty cool so those were its arms and then you have its legs right so you had its right and its left leg now of course this one doesn't work because batteries but these extend it which is cool i like how they kept all of them extending um even the uh the arms and all that this one was supposed to be a flashlight it was a cheap little flashlight but i thought it was still pretty cool you had its um its little trigger or its button right here and this would light up as well so this part would light up and then you'd have its I think it was just, yeah, like a regular standard flashlight. And then its other leg was a child's multi-tool, right? So you would open it like this, there you go. And you would have a set of pliers, right? So you're a little kid and you're over here and you search in your toolbox and you get a, a Google Gadget leg and you have a set of pliers, crazy. And it also had a fake little screwdriver uh, flathead at the bottom. So this is pretty neat. Um, it was creative, but I don't know who was in the, the staff meeting. It's like, oh, let's make a multi-tool that has uh, unusable tools. But I the creativity is there, so I give them that. And then, of course, you had this part you think would be cool. Um, it looks a little sketchy getting this in your Happy Meal and not knowing what a Spectre gadget is. But all this was was a little toy that it would light up and you could see the sparks. Um, if I got this in the Happy Meal, I'd be like, oh, cool. I don't know. I mean, this was the, one of the hardest parts for me to find, but I don't think I'd be happy with this as a toy by itself. This part was supposed to, I believe it had like little catchphrases that he said once in a while. Um, this part flipped down just to, it's supposed to be some kind of phone or something like that. Um, but you press the button and you get like little catchphrases, I believe. I'm not too sure. I never really had this one when I was in here. I keep in mind, I got all these on eBay. I'm just fact, I'm just happy the fact that they get put together. Then you had its hat. Its hat was, I guess, this kind of siren. So when you would turn the hat, you get that siren noise. Uh, his hat was one of the, you know, like primary things he would use to get around because that's how he'd fly around and stuff like that. So if you were to be lucky enough to collect all these parts, which first off, you know, eating McDonald's twice a week or something is very unlikely. I don't know. I mean, if you did, cool to you. But getting all these parts was a challenge, um, but I think it was cool because it kept you on a hunt. I think this is like one of the most top, like this is probably top tier McDonald's toys up there with the Sonic handhelds, if y'all remember those. So if, once you get all the toys, you had its torso parts, then you were able to actually put this guy together. So you have its right arm, left arm. So you would match up the colors and you put them together and you make your inspector gadget now, once he was all put together, you have his chest plate and you put it on and well, bam, there you go. And of course you have its hat. So let's go ahead and rank these things. The coolest one, I believe, was the arm, the little water gun arm. I mean, because you're getting a water gun regardless. Like, regardless of this being just someone's right arm, you're getting a water gun and that actually worked. I mean, it worked once this time, you can just imagine how it actually worked when it was, you know, brand new. So this one automatically, I think is the coolest part. It is the number one out of the seven. Now, number two, this one is a little tough because after that, they kind of get not crazy lame, but they're not the best. Um, I will give it to the multi-tool. Like I said, I don't, think it was like the most useful or anything but definitely the most creative so i'm giving the multi-tool being the second greatest one i believe and then you have uh i'm gonna go back down to seven and what which is the worst one this one's probably the worst i think this was the worst do you think this was the worst yes. i do yeah it's it's creepy looking and it doesn't do much it sparks up i don't know what you're gonna do with that so this one probably be the worst. This one actually isn't that bad when you think about it, especially if you have other action figures. Uh, the heads, the head hole isn't too 
small or too big so i mean you can actually use this on your barbies or whatever ken dolls i don't know what y'all play with gi joes um so this one is not going to be the worst but it is probably the second worst and we have these two guys right here now this one while it was working i guess it was kind of cool uh but i don't think it was that great so it is going to be the third worst and we have these two guys this one is somewhat useful um i guess if you're gonna grab some fries and eat them uh this one's actually a flashlight so i don't know why this is a question this is the third best and this is going to be number four so if we have them all lined up right there the coolest is the super soaker arm the second coolest is the multi-tool the third coolest is definitely the flashlight and then you have your extendo your extendo your gogo -Go gadget arm with the grip then after that i think it's this a little talk box then we have the the siren hat and of course probably the wackest one out of all of them but you still need it to put everything together is the inspector gadget back piece and head that's what i think and that's why i'm sticking to my guns i think this is going to this is the order this is the order from coolest to least cool and i said what i said i'm sticking by it so now my final thoughts on this uh was it worth the hype that i remembered it as a kid honestly i'm not sure if it's just nostalgia but i really think it is um having all of these and like Putting them together and stuff and me being you know the age i am now compared to when i was a kid i know i would have a blast when i was a kid with this um i really think they are uh i think this is like top tier mcdonald's toys that are out there like the idea of having separate limbs separate parts of inspector gadget's body you having to collect them then put them together to make a full figurine i think is super dope the parts in themselves are not that bad some of them are really really cool some of them are kind of lame but I mean, I'll give that, you know, I'll give that a pass for what it is to actually put this the whole thing together. So my final thoughts, yes, I think it was worth the hype. If you don't think it was worth the hype, let me know down in the comments. Now, if I think it would be just as cool now for some kids, maybe, maybe not. I think it is, but looking at it now, it is a little goofy. Feet are ginormous. He has like these uh, super lengthy arms and his hat is ridiculously, um, large but i mean i still think it's cool little freaky looking like from today's standards but the creativity is is definitely there it's awesome now if you enjoyed this please give us a like please subscribe um if you have any ideas or any toys that you may want us to go over put them in the comments as long as they're obtainable i'd be definitely down to review them um, now this is our first show I would really like to make more of these episodes as time goes on, but it all depends on how many people are watching. So please do subscribe, share if you would like. I like taking this trip down memory lane and it's just, you know, it's a fun thing for me to do. Please subscribe, please like, comment, all that jazz. And until next time, have a good one.